You want to attract more views to your YouTube videos? If viewers are not motivated to click on your thumbnail, then they won't even watch your video. In this video, I'll show you how to create a clickable YouTube thumbnail, even if you suck at graphic design. Here's an old thumbnail I created four years ago. Here's the new thumbnail. Hello, my name is Herman Dross from DrossDesigns.com. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and subscribers on autopilot, hit the subscribe button or hit the bell notification icon. According to YouTube's Creator Academy, 90% of the best performing videos on YouTube have custom thumbnails. So definitely don't use the auto-generated ones created by YouTube. The purpose of your YouTube thumbnail is to get the first click so people want to watch your video. Here's how to make a custom YouTube thumbnail using Canva. Step one, shoot a number of high resolution images using your phone. I just simply create a short video showing the different poses. Here's one, here's another one, here's another one, here's another one, here's another. Step two, go to canva.com. Create an account or log in, or you can create a design from scratch. Click YouTube thumbnail 1280 by 720 and select a free image. I'm gonna select this one. Step three, upload your own image and replace the image in the thumbnail. Click uploads, click upload your own images. I'm gonna click thumbnail PNG, which I created from my iPhone. I'm gonna drag this image over and you can see it's replace the current image. If I want to move it, I can just select these corners here and enlarge it. I can move the images around. Just click on the background here, move the image over, and I can change the text, expand it a bit. I can add new text by just clicking on the text button. Let's speed it up. I can change the font. I can uh, make the background transparent, just moving this. But also, I can select a different color. I can make it red, orange, green. Blue stands out pretty good, so I'll make the backgrounds blue. If I want to add elements, I can add an element here. I can add free photos. I can do shapes. If I want to add a shape here. I can just put a shape in there, and I can resize it if I wish. If I want to get rid of that shape, I just go to the top here and click the trash icon. Uh, I can also do lines, icons. I've got different icons that I can put in there also. And I also got Canva icons. This image is not perfect, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just gonna use this example image. So after you're finished, you just click download and you can select the file type, JPEG, PNG, which is recommended. I can create a PDF file or PDF print. I'm gonna save it as a PNG. Click download, hold type, preparing your design. I can just save it to my desktop. I'm gonna call it thumbnail two because I've already got one called thumbnail. Click save. And here's my new thumbnail. Let's see how it looks on YouTube. Here's a thumbnail tutorial I created four years ago that has an old thumbnail, so I'm gonna replace that. Click edit, click change image. I'm gonna select thumbnail two, click choose. And here's my new thumbnail. Let's see how it looks in the search engines. Here's how it looks in Google. And here's how it looks on YouTube. Here are five mistakes to avoid when creating YouTube thumbnails. Don't trick or misrepresent your video. Make sure that your thumbnail image describes your video. Number two, not using complementary colors. Make sure you use contrasting colors so your image stands out. Number three, using blurry images. Instead, make sure you use high resolution images so when your thumbnail is reduced in size, it still looks good. Number four, using too much text. If you use too much text on thumbnail images, it'll be hard to see when viewed on a mobile device. Number five, placing something important in the bottom right-hand corner of your thumbnail. If you place your logo or text in the bottom right-hand corner, it'll be covered by the timestamp. Number six, using sexually suggestive or violent images in your thumbnail. This may cause your video to be age-restricted according to YouTube's community guidelines. Let me ask you an important question. What tools do you use to create your YouTube thumbnails? Post your answer in the comments below. I'd love to read them, and others would too. Click the card icon to download my video upload checklist. You'll receive the 10 things you need to do before going live on YouTube. If you want to learn how to grow your audience on YouTube and generate views and subscribers on autopilot, click the subscribe button below and check out the related videos. I'll see you in the next video.